Not everyone at the summit will be a head of government, an ambassador or a general. We can also expect to see large numbers of peace campaigners demonstrating against NATO. George Galloway, MP, is vice president of the Stop the War movement. This is a Cold War alliance. Its day has gone. There are no Russian armies about to uh, pour across the steppe. Russia is a capitalist democracy like all the other capitalist democracies. Nobody could claim you're a military man of great distinction. You know very well if the Russians were really invading the eastern and east of Ukraine, everybody would know about it by now. Well, I think we're beginning to get a pretty clear picture that there is more than just a handful of paratroopers with map reading problems uh, in southeast Ukraine. No, I don't see that. Well, let's just turn this, this around a little bit and look at it from the perspective of some of the newly joined member states of, of NATO, for, in particular the Baltic states. Now, these three states uh, were occupied by the Soviet Union for 50 years. Would you not think it reasonable for them to sign up to, the, to an alliance that guarantees them their defence collectively? These small republics have a right, of course, to uh, independent political development. Nobody in Russia is proposing to occupy them, but they oughtn't to behave as part of a major provocation of the Russian government, and that's what's going on now. These countries are of great importance to you. I'm bound to tell you they're not of great importance to most people in Britain. Your line that the defense of Britain begins in Latvia, Estonia, and so on, is not actually shared by uh, the vast majority of the British people who would regard Estonia as a far-off country uh, of which they know little and probably not worth the bones of a single British grenadier. The truth is, if we went to war with Russia, everybody listening to this program would turn to dust and a nuclear winter would descend upon our country. Now, you may think Estonia is worth that. I frankly don't. I'm absolutely with George Galloway. It would be wonderful to abolish war, 